four months after taking oath as president, leads his country finally to victory and peace. Mr. Truman and his cabinet meet in emergency session. Former Secretary Hull is on hand as the president breaks the momentous news of Japan's surrender. I have received this afternoon a message from the Japanese government in reply to the message forwarded to that government by the Secretary of State on August 11th. I deem this reply a full acceptance of the Potsdam Declaration, which specifies the unconditional surrender of Japan. Newsmen rush the President's report to a waiting world, and through the early evening, Tuesday, August 14th, the fateful news is flashed. In New York City, as throughout a rejoicing nation and world, vast throngs of grateful, happy people celebrate the end of fighting, the dawn of peace. Two million New Yorkers jam Times Square. It's official. It's all over. It's total victory.